Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a very simple random selector like this in the Spark AR Studio. I have created a patch for you, you can use to make this as simple as possible. So yeah, you can download the patch for free and I will show you in this video how to use it. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create this super easy random selector here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter here in the Spark AR Studio, make sure you have done two things. The first thing is that you create the assets you want to show in the filter, so the box um, above the head, the first is the start box and then all the boxes that should flicker through, so all the options you want to show in the filter. Yeah, I, I create my options here in, the, in Sketch, but of course you can use Photoshop, Illustrator or any other app you uh, feel comf comfortable in, in creating some graphics. So yeah, this is my start card and those are the other cards I use for the options. Um, yeah, the cards are in a squared format, you can use transparency of course and then just export them as a PNG. So the next step and very important step is that you download the patch I have created for you to make it as simple as possible to create a random selector here in the Spark AR Studio. So yeah, just follow the link in the description, there you will found, find a Dropbox link, just click on it and then you will end up here on this page. There is the patch we need and also there is an asset folder where you can find all the assets I use um, yeah, in this video if you have no options created so just use them to follow the video so yeah just click on download here and yeah you will download all the assets you need for this filter so when you have done this we can finally start creating the filter here in this bug ar studio the first step is that we import all our assets we need for this filter yeah so go to your downloads folder or to the folder we have where you have saved all your assets so yeah so yeah just drag and drop the random selector.arp file into your assets panel of your filter and then and also drop the first card so the start card into the assets panel of your um, spark ar studio so for the options we have to create an animation sequence so we can't just drag and drop them into our into our filter project so for this we go to our assets panel click on the little plus here we select animation sequence. Now we go to the right hand side when the animation se sequence is selected. Here we go all the way up to textures and here we click on choose file. Here we just select all our options we want to show in our filter. So I will select these five and then I just click on open. When this is done, um, I go to my assets panel and click on the textures. At first at the start, texture and here I go to the right hand side and set the compression to none. And yes, I will also do the same for my yeah, animation sequence. Also set it, the compression from automatic to none. So now the fun part begins. So we can start programming the filter in the patch editor. The first step we have to do is to drag and drop our random selector patch from the assets panel into our patch editor. And yeah, this is the patch I have created for you to make it as simple as possible to create a random selector here in this Spark AR Studio. So you will find here some inputs and also some output. The, the next step we have to do is to go to our animation sequence, click on it, go to the right hand side and here we yeah, extract the current frame and um, with the little arrow next to it. So just click on it and you will find this yellow patch in your patch editor. So now we can connect this um, the current frame output with the current frame input of the yellow animation sequence patch. So now we can't see anything here in our preview, so we will change this now. So we will um, yeah, um, create some objects that we can also see our random selector in our filter. For this we go to our scene panel and here we click also on the little plus. The first object I want to create is a face tracker object. Now I will create a null object and then I will drag and drop this null object into the face tracker object. So now it is nested into the face tracker. The next step is that we have to create two planes. So I go again to the plus, search for plane and click on insert. And now I will do this again. So the, the planes are also outside the face tracker, but the two planes should be inside the null object, which is inside the face tracker. So also 
Yeah, select the two planes and drag and drop it into the null object. So I will rename now the planes. So this will be the start plane and this will be the selector plane. Now we also have to create two materials for our planes. So we go down to the assets panel, click on the little plus and here we click on material. So I will call this material start and the second material I will create, I will um, call selector. So now just select the two materials or each um, one extra. So just click on start, then shader type, set it to flat and also do this for the selector. So next step is that you select the start material, go to diffuse, go to texture and here for the texture just choose the start material. Then go down to the selector material, also go to the right hand side and for the texture here select the animation sequence zero. Now we go back to our scene, click on the start plane, also go to the right hand side, click on the plus and here we select the start material. Then also select the selector um, plane in the scene, go to the right hand side and as material select the selector material. So after this is done we already see here our option, um, the first option, but there is no selection going on now. So for the next step is that we select our start plane, go to the right hand side, here um, click on the little arrow next to whisper and we will also find a yellow um, start patch in our patch editor. Now just connect the visibility start card output with the visible input of the start patch. And now do the same for the selector plane. So go to your scene, click on the selector plane, go to the right hand side, click on the little arrow next to visible and then also connect the visible cards output with the visible input of the selector. So now we are almost done. At the moment our planes are here in the middle of the face but we want it on top of the head. So we go and of course a little bit bigger. So we go to the scene, click on the NAR object. Now the magic of a NAR object comes in. So we just have to change the size and position of this NAR object because the start and selector plane are nested into it. So select it, go to the right hand side and for the scale I will set it to 0.5 for the X and for the Y. Then I will go up to position and set the Y position to let's say 0.12. So yeah, just experiment around with those values because maybe your graphics are a little bit different in size and shape. So now we are almost done. We just need a trigger to trigger our random selector patch. Of course you can use the recording input so when you start the recording it starts but here I will use the yeah, tab to start. So I go to my patch editor, click on add patch and here I search for screen tab. So I just yeah, insert the screen tab patch and now we just have to um, yeah, connect the gesture state output with the trigger input of our random selector. And now when I click here on my preview, um, yeah, the random selector starts, it flickers through all the options and finally it lands it lands at one. So now I will um, yeah, explain more about this random selector patch because you see there are some inputs left and there are also some values you can change. The start delay is a delay before the, um, yeah, the random selector starts. So when you tap on the screen, um, after 1.5 seconds, the selector starts shuffling. Then you will find the shuffle time. Here it is set to three. So yeah, it shuffles three seconds before it lands on one option. Then the shuffle speed is how fast it will flicker through. So when I set this to um, 0.5, it will yeah flick through very slow. So when I tap here again, 1.5 second delay, then it starts and you see it is much slower than before. So I yeah, will leave the shuffle speed to 0.05. So number of options is the last one. So I have here five options. So when you have more options, you will set, have to set it to maybe 10, 12 or whatever number of options you have in your filter. So make sure this is set to the right um, yeah, number of cards you have in your filter. And yeah, that was, that was how to create a very simple random selector. So yeah, just download my patch and yeah, I hope 
you can make a random selector on your own. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So see you in the next video. Bye.